Hello everybody and welcome back to Roguelike Roulette. We are back again playing some Briscoe 2. Uh, and we're gonna try... Boop. 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 And boop. I'm not gonna do this one because that would kind of cancel out this one. But that's gonna be fun. Uh, and we're just gonna play as a commander. Let's give it a go. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm very scared. I'm very scared. But this is gonna be fun. A fun little challenge, I think. A fun little challenge. You guys know I like myself some little challenges here and there. Enemies only spawning as elites. Oh, it sounds like it's going to be bad. But we shouldn't have too much of a problem with the extra damage that we have right now. I said too much of a problem. We will still have quite a major problem. It just won't, it just won't be as bad as you'd think. It's still a pretty major problem. And enemies only drop items on death. Mixed with the being able to choose your items also leads to some fucky situations where it can be quite difficult to pick up our items and actually get anything. But of course, there's a, there's a Shrine of Mountain over there, so I'm going to go and tap that because, I mean, who wouldn't? Here's our first item here. We're going to go for Fire Rate. And then we're going to start... We're going to get a little bit of Fire Rate and probably maybe some Bleed or Gasoline or something like that. But then after that, we're going to sort of... Oh my gosh. We're going to sort of um, move on to um, some more defensive items after that. In fact, we could get an offensive item right here in uh, in the seed. Where's the seed? There it is. We'll get that. Just in case. Even though, if we get hit, we pretty much die anyways. I still think that's pretty useful. I still think it's pretty useful. Don't accidentally touch that. Fire it. Fire it. And then after this, it's teddy bears. It's teddy bear's time after this. But that's already a pretty good amount of items. Yeah, the seed probably actually wasn't the best idea, thinking about it, because we're, uh, we're glass, so we're actually going to die in one hit anyways. We'll see, though. We'll see. It's fun and games. We'll we'll try it out. Ugh, I love that slide. I love that slide. Might want to just go do our boss now. We might not even survive through the boss, so we've got to be ready for that and prepared for that. Enemies appearing outside of their normal environments is probably the worst thing here, because we can get some really nasty bosses and enemies spawning with us. Which is never good. Never good. But we'll, we'll, we'll try this out. The Shrine of the Mountain. We are going to get destroyed. Anything like this that spawns has to be dealt with immediately. Because they will one-shot us if we're not careful. So things like that have to be dealt with as soon as they spawn. Same with these guys. Same with these dudes. They are very, very difficult to deal with, so take them out. Uh, teddy bear. Make sure we get all the items we can before we end up doing our boss. Um, what's going to be a really good one for us? ATG missile launch could be quite good. Taking things out for us pretty easily. Killing the bosses quickly, stuff like that. Right, let's try this out. Dive away. It really depends what we get. Okay, so that's not great. But we might be okay here. That's one dead. Oh my god. Overloading. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so it's scary. It's very scary, in fact. In fact, we might have to take... Uh, I'm going to try that again. We're going to have to take uh, a lot of defense early instead of the other way around, I think. Rather than going for the... Uh, Attack then defense. I think we should take defense early and try that out. We got a lot of items that first time though, so let's let's hope that trend keeps up. If that trend keeps up, we could end up with a lot of items here, which is of course great. No item on our first kill. No item on our second. Of course, these guys could kill us in one hit too, so we gotta be careful for them. Damn Lemarians, stay away from me, boys. No items yet. Still no items yet. Sad, sad times. I hear a beetle boy bouncing around somewhere. Oh, no, it's a Lemarian up here, I think. There's also one over here. Yep. I hear you bouncing around, dude. Got him. It's kind of fun, though. I like it. Got him. No item either. Okay, we're getting unlucky with items this time around. Definitely a shame. Definitely a shame. I can't believe we died in that last one there so easily. We just got completely bopped. 
Hey, let's try the mountain again. Oh, there's another one. I mean, it has to be done, doesn't it? I mean, it's 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 quite literally immediate death, but you've got to try it. Because if, if 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 we if we win, if we win, then my god, my god, it's going to be amazing. So we've we've we've, we've got to attempt it at least. We've got to attempt it. I would like like a good amount of items before we start this though, so that would be a, a good prerequisite here. I'm gonna activate these turrets because they can actually help out quite a lot with the boss considering where they're located. Uh, if enemies could spawn, that would that would generally be quite helpful. There we go. None of those give any items. Okay, we're gonna get really unlucky with items this time around. I think we just got incredibly, incredibly lucky that first time. I don't think we can get anywhere near as lucky now. Looks like we're going to end up fighting the boss with no items at all. There's nothing spawning. Ugh. This is the one massive gripe I have with Risk of Rain. The first few stages, oh my god, are they just so dull when nothing spawns in. <coughs> Sorry about my nose. I've got a bit of snivers. But yeah, look, just, just waiting around. Seeing if anything spawns. Been like a good 30 seconds. Oh, hello. That guy is going to be a problem. Good, good, good. No item still there. Oh, oh, oh. Didn't quite catch that spawning. They're a problem. <laughs> They're a huge problem. Wow. Okay, can we get items this time, please, game? Like, some items would genuinely be really nice. Some items would be great. No item up there. I can't believe we've got two Shrine of the Mountains there. I should have just activated it, shouldn't I? I should have just got, got it over with and tried to do it. Because there's certain bosses that are quite easy with that. Others, obviously, not so much. Damn it, no items. This is a sad day. A sad, sad day. That's a really a terrible spot for the boss as well. We are getting so unlucky right now. I'll go and do this because it'll be easy. Ish. Hey, there's an item. Right, so we're going defense heavy to start this time. Literally just spawn two of them. Is that it? Okay. <laughs> Expecting more than that. God damn, this first stage is so unbelievably slow. Right, we're just going to do the boss because it's going to take forever for anything to happen. Nothing's spawning in. Let's just get this over with and get to the next stage. Oh, okay. Double one of these. Of course, we're getting two of them because of the uh, modifier we have on right now. But yeah, we're not going to survive that. No way in hell. We need more items to do this. We, we have to get more items for this to work. Let's try the Huntress. Like, we cannot survive on one item. We need a good few for this to start off, like, productively. And we ain't getting that right now. We ain't getting that. We're not getting anything, actually. We ain't getting anything. Ah, damn it, I didn't see you there. Did not see you there. Nice. There is a few of these guys. One back here as well, look. You think you're so sneaky, don't you? Hiding down there. But no, I gotcha. Oh, I can't believe how good that first run was now. We got so many items that first time around. And now we're just getting absolutely shafted. We're not getting anything. It's really depressing. That was sad. There's one. Maybe, is there maybe a better thing than tougher times to take for us? Possibly. Um, no, I think tougher times is still really good. 
Got him mid air. He's pretty dope. Nice. Okay, we're doing better this time. Two tougher times. This early is pretty good. I can get down with that. Ooh, got on an uh, active item here. That's really good. Uh, we want something that's going to do a lot of damage. I genuinely think this is so good for us right now. Because of that. Because <laughs> of precisely that. Going to go with ukulele here, I think. Okay, now I'm happy. We've started off better. I still cannot believe the ridiculously low spawn rates of these first waves, though. Come on, developers. Just just throw in some more, like, shitty enemies for me to have something to do, please. I'm just waiting around here. I'm getting bored. Come on. Ah, no, not them. Ah, anything but... <laughs> you get what you fucking deserve. Oh, my God. <laughs> It took it took on board what I said. It really did. Uh, we're gonna go back to that and to this and to this actually. We're gonna go back to default skills. It took on board what I said. It it did. It, it went ah. I I hear you've been asking for um. You've been asking for some more uh, some more enemies, have you? Here, elder Lemarians. Oh yeah, this is this is this is yeah. <laughs> Immediate death. So this is going to be the most deaths in one episode so far, I think. But we're going to keep trying it until we get past the first stage, at least. Boop. Throw discus. Ah, oh, that didn't get to him as well. I was hoping it would. Yeah, the wisps are probably the worst thing we could get right now. Um, Let's just go for straight up AoE and try and do more AoE damage and take things out quickly. Rather than trying to have defense to stop ourselves from getting hit. I think that might actually work out better for us. And I'm actually thinking fireworks might be really, really good. Well, this is instant death. Why is the four of them? Did I do a shrine of the mountain? Oh my god, this is not possible, is it? It's the elites one that's killing us. Having everything spawn as elites just means we die instantly. We will do this one time, though. That that boss is by far, by far the worst one we can get, though. So that's that doesn't help. It does not help. Also, it doesn't help when we get literally no items. Like, could I have items, please? Oh, no. I don't know how I survived that, but somehow I did. Gimme. I am a fool, but give me. I am a complete fool, but I will never stop. I will never stop. There's wisps, wisps about the place. Okay, that's very good for us. There's some good kills there. That's amazing too. Just one item would help, please. Nope. No one item for us. Right, none of them gave us items. Let's just go for it then, I guess. Aha! 
This is a boss that we can't deal with very easily. Oh, there's another one down here. Cool. Cool. I didn't know there was one down there. Nice. How do people do these all... All uh, modifiers on runs? I, I, I genuinely don't know. They're so impossible. They're so impossible. Just getting past the first boss is so difficult. Like... The, honestly, the biggest thing that's nerfing us right now is the enemies drop items on death because we're just not getting items. By now, like normally we'd have a ton of items because we'd get loads of money, we'd open a bunch of chests, we'd open up loads of stuff and it's like, nah, not, not today you won't. This guy's going to be a problem. Yep. Yep. <laughs> it's so unbelievably difficult. Why? I can't believe it. I just can't believe how difficult it is. God damn it. Mayo's difficult. By the way, Mayo is... Uh, is it Mayo? Um, Mayhem all modifiers on. Mamo. All artifacts on. Something like that. What? This isn't possible, guys. Uh, let's turn off glass, because glass is really screwing us. Glass is really screwing us. The one-hit kills are just so impossible to deal with right now. What's this noise? Why is this, like, a noise radiating from this rock? What's going on back here? There's like a noise coming from up here. Hey, there you go. There's a noise coming from like out here somewhere. Oh, that's what it is. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Not fair, not fair. God damn it, that's what the noise was. I found the noise, guys. It's pure evil. I hear you trying to come on up through Electric Avenue. I, I, don't, I genuinely think fireworks might be brilliant for us. Genuinely think it might be really, really good. All right, where's the teleporter? Up there, maybe? Normally, it's like always in this little middle bit here on the stage. Do you know, I don't think I've ever had it like around the back there. It might be over there. No! Not a good time to spawn things. I'm at such low health. Let's check over here. I think it is over here, you know. There it is, yeah. Head into the rain of arrows. You deserve it. You big metal boy. Item? No, no, no. Ah! Yes, death incarnate. <laughs> it's just crazy. It's just crazy. Oh my god. Uh... Let's do, do a randomizer. That's the only one that's on. No, come on now. Do a cool randomizer at least. Nothing. Randomize nothing. I don't even know what that was. I didn't check. We'll find out. Lunapod. So, definitely double enemy spawns. For half HP. Definitely choose our items. Can I can I please pick up this item? Thank you. Um
Yes, shaped glass. Although I was just complaining about artifact of glass. Now I have shaped glass. Because why not? Because why not? Let's keep on moving and grooving through, see what we can get done. This has been a crazy adventure so far, though. We have chests, which is nice. You can see that already. Um, This is going to be... I'm going to take ukulele. I really like stacking up ukuleles as the hunter. I think it's a really good way to do this. Get like five ukuleles and you're kind of golden. So we're looking for actual chests this time. Which is a rarity for us, but we are. Uh, we're going to go for complete AoE damage here. All the AoE. That we can darn get our hands on. Not get our darn hands on. Oh my god, there's two of those damaging shrines right there. All the AoE I want. All the AoE I need. It's beautiful as a chest. I see you're trying to hide from me. Got an active item chest there as well. Probably pretty good to go for that. Yukawewe. Give me that ukulele. We'll grab that open. I'm going to go with this bad boy because we're going for AoE. We want to grab things closer together. Get the enemies to touch butts. That's the way we deal with it in this house. Alright, there's our teleporter. I don't feel like I have to kill absolutely everything in my path now either because they're not giving me items. There's got to be at least, yeah, one more chest. Okay, there we go. We've got quite a few ukuleles now. Three to be precise. Probably going to say there's one more item through this way. That I haven't seen yet. One more chest. Maybe not. Maybe not. Doesn't look like it from here, does it? Most certainly doesn't look like it from here, guys. Let's go do our, uh, our boss then, shall we? But, oh my, this has been a fun one so far. It's been a fun one so far. Lots of death. As I like it. Oh, is it enemies of one type? I think it is. We've only seen Lumerians, haven't we? We have only seen Lumerians here today, so... Very plausible that it's only enemies of one type. That would make a lot of sense. Ukulele. Makes ukulele even better. I'm glad I took the active item I took. Very glad indeed, actually. Lemarians are probably one of the easy ones to get on the first floor. I think Wisps is kind of the most annoying one. So I'm glad I got that. I still don't know what my other artifact is. Oh no, it's the double enemy spawns, isn't it? Of course. Got him. Right. I know, they I know there is icons next to the objects at the top right there, but I can't remember which one's which. I don't know what they look like. Got him. And there you go. We're charged up. We're all charged up. Right. One memento, por favor. I have some messages. There you go. Right, let's go. Let's go. My friend just sent me a picture of a um, the guy, someone that I play Warzone with, just sent me a picture of a airfield tower and said, "Goddamn campus." <laughs> oh, okay. So this is a really, really, really bad one, and we're probably gonna die. All we've got is these dudes. 
And if you remember, they tend to kill me quite a lot. They do a lot of damage and they can hit you very easily because they're pretty much hit scan. At least I can kind of hear when they're about. Where you at, dude? Okay, I can trick him a little bit like that. Oh, there's another one. And I can use walls to kind of block their uh, sight lines and stuff. So that's nice. I can get away from their sight lines easily enough, I guess. Still not ideal. Didn't quite hit. Pop this up and see what we get. Green again. Yes. Okay, we've, we're now at peak ukulele. We're now at peak ukulele. This will be 120, I think. 114. Almost. But yeah, we should be able to take out groups relatively easily now. Where are the enemies at? There's one behind this wall. I can hear it. Oh no, unless it's around here, maybe? No, it's behind the wall. Hello. Got him. Seems to give us a decent amount of money, these guys. Which is nice. Um, ooh, I'm, I'm trying to think what's going to be best here. Uh, let's decide quickly. Let's go for the old guillotine just to kill some of these elites that might be more annoying a little quicker. Another big chest here. Like to see it. Chance for a legendary from I think it's like a 10% chance for a legendary from the big chests. Yeah, let's just go for another old guillotine. Keep that trainer going. Makes elites way, 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 way less annoying to deal with. Also helps with the boss. Uh, right, gasoline. Again, we're just going for AoE damage and crowd damage, especially considering we know the boss is going to be a group of those guys. I do love the music in this area. It's really good. Right. I think we're about ready to face the boss off, actually. Don't have enough. Yeah, let's go face the boss. Actually, we can kill this guy first. And use this again. Really? Nothing again? Evil game. Right. This actually might be quite easy. Let's find out. Because they're going to do a lot of damage. But they're all clumped up. And we have guillotine. I think the boss is now dead. Yeah, good, good, good. I'm actually going to take a third guillotine. Really helps out with the bosses here. We can do this while we're here too, which is nice. An active item, we don't really want that. Thanks, game. Okay, we're dealing with these relatively okay. I thought they were going to be a lot more difficult than they actually are. I think next time we're going to go, we're going to start going for fire rate once we get to gasolines to five. Things are dying relatively quickly now. We need to be procking our ukulele more often. I do love doing this little spinny move with her. Woo! Let's get the timing right on it. It just goes perfectly. Look at that. That guy didn't even hit us. That guy didn't even hit us once. It's beautiful. Let me go. Let me in. Let me in. Let's go away from here. Please. Ah. Ah. I didn't see you spawning. There you go. We're good to go to the next stage. Please don't give us a terrible en enemy. Terrible enemy will ruin us. Please be kind. Ah, that's not too bad. It's not great, but it's not, it's not terrible either. 
We can keep him at a, a relative distance and be okay. But yeah, now we only have to get elites to like half HP to kill them. Which is fantastic. Because they're, they will be plentiful. And they will not be nice to deal with. With that current double damage, that's going to be great for us. Right, let's go and pop over here and open this chest up. So we're getting one more gasoline. Yeah, we have one more gasoline, and then we're going for fire rate all the way. We, we want this thing to be like an absolute machine gun. Oh, we have a gold shrine here. Probably don't want to do Aurelia. Uh, I think that might end up being quite difficult. All right, we got good money. We've not really been hit much yet either, which is lovely. I do love the way they die. It's such a satisfying little animation there. Getting sucked into the void again. Go back to where you came from, bitch. Kick you back to hell. Can't believe we got double damage and it's still taking this long to kill these things, though. Uh, we've got a few chests down here. Don't think we've got any on the way. No, we don't. Didn't think, didn't think we had any up there, but I'm okay with the fact that we might. Okay, nice. <coughs> Excuse me. Do apologize. Right, what do we want to go for here? Uh, World of the Wisp. Even more area damage. Area damage all the way. Now, let's go for fire right here. But yeah, greens, we're going to go with uh, Will of the Wisp for a little bit. Probably only go to three of those, because Will of the Wisp tends to get a bit fucky if you get more than three, where it kind of, like, dominates your entire run, and we don't really want that. Because the chain reactions become, like, absolutely ridiculous to the, yeah, to the point of insanity. Uh, and we really don't want to, we don't, we don't want to overshadow this run with just Will of the Wisp explosions. I mean, we could do an episode soon where we just take Will of the Wisp and see how it functions. Cause that'd be kind of, that could be kind of fun. Makes your boss killing potential a, a, little, a little less, but your crowd removal, very strong. Oh, legendary. Uh, we need to kind of decide what we want here. Let's think about this. Um, hmm. I always like the kills reduce your active cooldown. That's always good. Um, let's have a little peru, shall we? I'll go with Behemoth. We'll go with that. Uh, Let's go with the Behemoth. We're going for area damage. Behemoth is kind of area damage in itself, isn't it? It's always fun to go with the Behemoth. More explosions. More explosions. Just keep them coming. Gives us a little bit more DPS output here as well, which is always nice. Always nice. There you go. We're starting to get up there in the fire rate now. We're on to four. No, five. Soldier syringes. No, that was the wrong thing. Oh, it's okay. That was not what I wanted, but it's explosives. I'll take it. I accept it. More fire rate. Where's you going? What are you doing, dude? I got another one of these bad boys. Ah, oh, active items. God damn it. Likes to give active items. Oh, yes. This is what we like to see, boys. Okay, that one's kind of stuck out there. We can get him there. 
Will of the Wisp. My god. That's what we like to see. That is what we like to see. Big explosions. Group everything up. Absolutely annihilate it. We'll pop up here. I don't think these guys can actually get us up here because they can't fly or anything. You can't really jump either, so... We can set up here as kind of a turret. Firing down on the world. You can't touch me. Ha 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 ha. What even are these things? They're crystal rock things. I do like the sort of uh, this area. I wish... Well, I, I say I wish. I don't actually know. Is there like more lore to this? There probably is that I just don't know about. If any of you guys know about the lore of Risk of Rain 2, feel free to like leave it in the comments and let me know. That'd be kind of interesting to know about, actually. I know that some of this comes from Risk of Rain 1. And kind of a lot of the lore was built up there. You guys want to calm down? Do you want to calm down, boys? Alright, away we go. Fourth stage, here we come. Could get a legendary chest here as well. I mean, we can get a legendary either way. We'll see how this goes. Okay, we're getting a legendary chest. We have the vultures, which isn't great. But we can deal with them. We might want to use our Q ability a little more than, than normal. Okay, let's go and check how much our legendary chest is first. That's kind of always my first order of business when I'm here. Just finding out how much I need to save up. And it might be just worth going for another Brilliant Behemoth, to be honest. 2,900. Okay, we're, we're going to get that very easily here. Yeah, another Brilliant Behemoth might be a good idea. Okay, we, our boss is there. Good, good. I love the way these guys spawning as well. Just look like they land on you. They spawn out of thin air, but land, like, on you. I'm trying to watch one spawn, but it's kind of hard to do. You always try and spawn them, like, out of your vision. By the time you actually hear it and see it, it's already on the ground. Where are these enemies at? Come on, spawn more. Give me more. More. We got like loads when we joined in, when we like entered the stage, but now it's kind of trickling them in pretty slowly. We do have one of these over here, which is always nice. Another shape glass is, is always fun. More damage for us. I see you up there, chilling. Calm yourself. 2,900 we need. So we need 900 more. Come on. If you give us enough spawns here, we can get it done. Pretty easily. We're getting like 100 per one of these birds, I think. Almost. I'll need a few more of them. Oh, um, some things died over there for some unknown reason. I'm guessing my ATG missile launcher locked onto them. Yeah, it did. It's like going up into the air and then it just like, once something spawns, it just finds it. That's kind of great that, that it just keeps going until it like, something spawns and it seeks it. It's pretty cool. Right, we're almost there. 2,500, 2,622. Seems about 75 per bird, something around there. Just that are only spawning in ones, that's the problem. And the elite ones give us a lot more, obviously. Come on, so close. I want my next brilliant behemoth. I could go with a sentient meat hook as well. In fact, yeah, I'll go for the sentient meat hook. Let's go and get that. We don't have any movement speed as well. That's something that I've just realized we're missing. Let's 
go with a meat hook. It's going to be quite fun with what we've got going on right now. Bringing everything in closer together. Right, this is going to be a lot of enemies here. Be very prepared for an absolute nightmare amount of enemies. Anything that gets sucked in is dead. Yeah, everything got sucked in. Everything's dead. Wow. The true power. I did just almost die. That is something to note. I don't know what it was, but something almost killed me then. Let's just go for one of these just in case. More active items. Good. Exactly what I was looking for. Thank you. Oh, ho, ho. this run got spicy very quickly. Very quickly did it get very spicy. Just stand here. Hold click. See what happens. The aimbot is, is, is beautiful. Hunter's aimbot is OP. She's an absolute hacksaw. Absolute hacksaw. Wow. You have been destroyed. 92%. Almost there. Sucks when you get an active item and you have to choose items. It really does. I mean, it sucks when you get them when you don't have to choose as well, to be honest. When you've already got a good one. I suppose at least when you can choose, you can get a better one. But when you can choose, you always pick the one you want to start anyways. So any after that and never an improvement. Unless you want to change builds halfway through, which you very rarely do. So we've got the birds again, actually, which is surprising. You didn't die? Wow. You almost killed me, too. Oh, wait, you did kill me. The fire damage. No. <laughs> no way the fire damage got me. Either way, I hope you enjoyed this kind of wacky run here. We just tried something new, tried something different. Hope you guys have been enjoying the Risk Rain 2 series on Roguelike Roulette. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.